Today on Garden Fork, learn a new way to treat the squash vine borer. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to treat for, I forgot the name of the thing. Bugs. Um, Worms. Squash vine borer. Boars. Here we are in the squash field. Indeed. And we're going to treat for the squash vine boar. We have a couple of videos about how to deal with the boar. Uh, there's one where we cut open the plant. There's a video link down here and at the end of the show for that. Uh, a couple others about uh, growing squash. And today I want to show you how to inject a product into the vine to deal with the boar, which is actually a little caterpillar grub. Do these guys have the boar? Do you know? Yes. They look pretty healthy. Well, if you look down here, do you see how this is white and this is split open? It's kind of orangey, funky stuff. Uh, this is a sure sign that you have squash vine borer inside the vine of the plant. The plant looks kind of sickly, kind of this white stuff on here, and the leaves are yellowing. So it's a clear sign you have the squash vine borer, which is the egg and larva of a moth. So today we're going to treat our squash vine borer problem with something called BT, which is Bacillus thuringiensis. Very good. Which, depending on which uh, organic certification program you're going with, can and cannot be considered organic. But Bacillus thuringiensis is an organism that they propagate and they put into a solution and you can buy it at the store or at an online gardening supply place. You can spray it on leaves and if the caterpillars eat those leaves, the Bacillus thuringiensis all of a sudden, uh, the caterpillar ingests that, they stop eating, and then they die, which is really nice. The problem with the... <laughs> wow. The issue with the squash vine borer is the squash vine borers are inside the vine, and squash vines are kind of hollowish, mm -hmm. and so they eat up through the inside of the plant. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to inject the BT into the squash vine plant itself. Now this is not one of the stated uses of the BT that we bought at the store, but this is uh, people do this, I do it, and I think it's okay. It's up to you whether you think it's okay or not. Why wouldn't it be okay? You know, I think the federal government has so many rules about insecticides and stuff like that, um, that they have to be very careful what they say. So read the fine print on Google. Yeah, read the fine print. The key to haul this thing is a marinade injector. A turkey baster? So go to your food supply store and get one of these injectors that you can inject garlic oil or whatever, butter, into your turkey or your chicken. And it's basically a plastic or metal needle that has a hole in it. So it's like a hypodermic needle that you could buy at the grocery store. For butter. For butter, for liquid butter. Then we're gonna take our BT solution, our Caterpillar Killer, it's usually called at the store. It says Caterpillar Killer BT on it. Mix up a solution, put it in here, inject it in the plant. Fill this up. Mm -hmm. So look on your squash vine for the infestation and then go farther up. Because if you see this here, the grub or the larva is already farther up in the stem. That's been my experience. And then I take this and I push this into the plant and I squeeze some in. So it's just going down the hollow tube part of the plant? Yep. Yeah where the boar is. We hope so. Uh, you can put it in, sometimes there's little cracks and can, you can put it in there. The trick here is you want the larva to eat some of this liquid that you're injecting in here. And that's not going to hurt your squash? Nope. Do you have to put that in at a certain point in the squash plant's development? Like, because these guys have just flowered. No, that's okay. Um, you want to get it as soon as you see this infestation. You want to, as soon as you see this infestation, you want to apply your BT or use some other method. We've talked about other methods of getting the grub out of the plant. But you ha if you don't kill that grub, the grub will kill your squash. So see how this plant is kind of yellow and weak looking compared to the other ones? Definitely. It's this thinner. Is, this is a big red flag that this is a squash vine borer. So here we go. I'm just going to hold the stem. Bore a little hole into the stem and press some of this in. I 
crazy. And will we see sometimes the boars come out then or not? No, you won't see, you know, once you put this in, you won't see the boar come out and say, oh, I give up. Um, they're just going to munch, while they're munching on the plant, some of this liquid's going to dribble down the stem and they're going to dr eat some of this. And then the BT will cause them to stop eating, which is a great thing. So take your BT, inject it into the vines, and then keep an eye on them. If you see that the vines are continuing to deteriorate, you didn't get the grub, and you can go to Plan B. We have some videos about that as well. The links are down here or at the end of the show, which are always the end of the show there. So, so does that stuff travel through the through the vine, or is it just located where you injected it? Wherever you injected it, this is where it's located, and you're hoping to get a little bit ahead of where the grub is boring through the stem, and they eat some of it, and the BT then gets into their system, and it keeps them from eating anymore. Didn't know any of that. Yeah, so you learned something in Garden Fork today. I did. So we have a big squash. How long is that going to take to BT this thing? A while. But most of this is healthy, right? Right, we use some other methods to thwart the laying of the eggs of the squash vine borer moth, and you can watch those videos as well. Again, the links are here or at the end of the show. Yeah, we know where they are. So we have a bunch of stuff on squash because we grow a lot of it. We grow it for the winter, it's great. All right, there you go. More cool information on our site, gardenfork.tv. You can watch our other squash vine boar episodes right here, our other squash cooking recipes as well right here. What else do I say at the end of the show? Oh, sign up for our email newsletter. There's a link down here. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them right below here. I try and answer most things. If you have some more solutions about squash vine boar, it'd be great to hear about that. You say do cool stuff. Go out and do cool stuff. Come back and tell me about it. Did you forget about the cool stuff? We did some cool stuff today. <laughs> All right, we got some work to do, so I'll talk to you later. Yeah, you're gonna be here for a while. I'll pick you up later. Yeah.